Hi folks. So this is a great fun one. Um, not actually as difficult to play as it, as it might look. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, there's four sections. Um, intro and outro, which is the same. Um, the verse, chorus, and then the solo. Um, the solo is actually based off the piano solo in the original. Um, came up with the best impression of it as I could. Um, so what we'll do is take you through each part of it. Now the intro um, has got a bit of a strange count. Um, there's a bar of 2-4 um, in it, so it's 4-4 four, four, and 2-4. Four. So the way you count it, um, I've got a capo on the 4th fret and I'm going to play in the A minor shape which gives us a C sharp minor. And when we strum that we're going to count 4. So 1, 2, three four then we're going to go to an f shape which in this position is actually an a and when i play the f instead of playing it like that i'm going to actually take it over to the a string so that's uh, an a so we count two on that so one two three four one two and then to a d minor three four which is actually an f sharp minor because of the capo that d minor shape so one two three four one two three four and then we get the the two four section which goes one two um, one two like that so e minor to a g which is actually a g sharp minor to an a no, to a B, sorry. G sharp minor. Yeah. To a B, yeah. So, one, two, three, four on A minor. One, two, three, four. F to D minor. One, two, E minor to G. One, two, three, four. And back to the A minor again. So that's the next part of the the start of the next bar. So for the intro you do that three times and on the third time round, at the end of the third time round, you go into the, the verse section. The outro it just does it once and it sort of slows down for the very end of it. Um so that nothing too complex about that. Uh for the verse So what I'm doing there, if I do that nice and slow for you. So I'm doing a damped first, a down up. Um, and then a down stroke, and then I move to this um, diminished chord shape. So what I'm doing there is basically taking, I've got my A minor held down like that. I'm taking my first finger and barring across all three strings here on the the fifth fret, but leaving that mid that second finger there on the third on the second fret above the capo, the sixth fret on the G string. But at the same time, I don't play the high E string when I'm playing that chord. So, so basically, all I'm doing is that if you hold that down. You can just lift that finger off and put it back on again and you're back to your A minor shape. So I go back to the A minor shape again rather than leaving that on so that I can bring the top string back in again. And then over to the F, which is an A chord. And then drop that down one fret. You have to take your first finger off. And when you slide it back up again, put your first finger back down again on the, the top two strings, the B and the E string. And then to the D minor. just to break up the rhythm again um, a little bit 
second time round I'll just lift it off and go to that D minor 7 <laughs> Um, so you do that round twice and then you're into the chorus and the chorus is sort of more a straight beat I'm going to try and pluck the D string the A string over that C shaped chord which is actually an E and then strum the rest of the strings drop down the A string there to the 6th fret and do the same again and then to A minor And then you can bring your pinky over here to the um, B string on the 7th fret. Do something like that. And then we're over to the D minor. This time I'm going to try for the, the bass side of that little strum part. I'm going to try with the D and G strings. third finger comes off of the B string on the 7th fret so it's back down to the 5th so a D minor 7 now and then to a G finish it off with a strum then we're back to the C again and this time instead of waiting on the A minor we go straight to a G so to an F, A minor again, D minor, D minor 7, to a G, and then there's a run up the scale, so, and all that is, so 7th fret on the low E string, open A string, open to the capo, so 4th fret, Six, seven, open D, six, seven again, and then open G to six, and then to the A minor. So So you can just walk it with those two fingers the whole way across. It's just that that last three note is done at like double the speed so and then we're into the A minor um, back into the verse um, so the next part to look at would be the solo um, so we're going to start off exactly the same way so on the G string we're going to go 5th to 6th fret and then to the 7th fret on the A string and then 7th to 6th on the A string again as well. And then repeat, just that part and then over to the a string again on the 7th fret, down to the 6th fret, and then open to the capo, and then 5th fret on the low E string, and then 5th to 7th, A string open to, or capo, to 6, to 7, and then we're back to the back to your A minor shape again and then and you kind of strum that as not as you would normally within the verse that time around but then you go to the D minor and just do two down strokes and then this up to the ninth fret 
This is the only stretch in the whole tune, and really, you're only using your pinky, so you don't have to hold the D minor chord down and stretch it. You could if you wanted, but you don't have to. So, up there in the ninth fret, back to the fifth on the high E string, and then open, and then seventh fret on the B string. So. And then high E string, and then to an A minor, two down strokes. And then we do this move here, which is pretty fast, but it's not as fast or as scary as it sounds. All we're doing, open high E string, third fret, or, or sorry, seventh fret on the B string, to six, uh, fifth fret on the B string, open B string, and then back to the fifth fret on the B string, open on the B string again, so open to the capo. Six on the G string, and open on the G string, and then go into that F chord. So all together you get finish it off with that same little bass run that we had at the end of the first part of the solo from the E string. So 5th to 7th, open A to 6th to 7th, and then back to your A minor. And then the final time round for the outro, instead of, so when you come back to that A minor on the final time round, just strum it and hold it, don't don't go into the just strum it and hold it count your four and do your intro again a final strum on an A minor and that's the whole tune so I hope that was clear enough for you um, as I say it's a fun one to do um, I really enjoy playing it love that solo part the piano piece um, yeah, good one. Um, so don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. Maybe watch a couple more of my videos as well. I'm sure if you like this, there'll be others that you like as well. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.